It is Friday and I'm getting the dreads done on Sunday. So we came to pick up some stuff. Super stretch elastics, two hooks in case one of them breaks and a comb, a fine comb with a pick at the bottom. It was $17 for everything. And uh, yeah, and this is all we're gonna need unless both of the hooks break. So the comb is to part your hair and the elastics are to put it in the parts. And the comb is also to back comb your hair to make it all tangly and such. And the hooks is what you tie the dread with pretty much. I don't really know. I'm gonna find out. I clearly don't have dreads yet, so. But yeah, everything was cheap. These were $5. These were $2 and I think the comb was $5. So it's not very expensive if you wanna do it yourself. All right, today's the day. Dread lock day. I'm very excited. I have been waiting for this day for many years and finally my hair is long enough to do it. So, so let's do it. So as you can see, this is three years, three years and like two months of growth. I haven't even, I haven't done a trim, nothing. So it goes a little past my chest and I think it's finally long enough to dreadlock. So let's get started. Okay. So last look before it's completely gone. So three years of growth here. Finally gonna get dreadlocked. So my hair isn't super straight. It's also not super curly. It has some waves in it, as you can see. And I'm doing it at home. So. Filming? <laughs> you ready, Calvin? You ready? So we have Kirsten. Watch everyone comment on this video and be like, she's doing it wrong. I know. So we are going to, over a little bit, brush my hair first. Which might seem counterproductive <laughs> but we need to be able to section it properly so and I'm not gonna be able to do that with this <laughs> as you can tell he doesn't brush his hair very often it's too curly to brush it hurts the length Can I run my fingers through my hair one last time? Sure. Okay, I'm ready. So we just started. We have, this is what my hair looks like when it's combed. That's why I don't comb it that much. She always gets mad at me for it. These are all gonna be the dreads, but so that they fall like in between each other, I'm sectioning like in between this one at the bottom to go up. So now the next one will go in between the next and so on so that they fall like in between each other rather than all on top of each other. Perfect, I wanted 20 to 25. <laughs> it feels really good. It feels really nice. Um, that didn't take too long. I just wanted to section it all first so that I know where they're gonna be and I kind of know how they're gonna fall to see that when they're back and stuff, they're gonna fall in between when he has them down so they won't be like right on top of each other. Call the twist and pull Shout out to Cody Co, keeping me entertained during these hours, keeping all of us entertained.
you kind of saw I was like pulling it apart and then like rubbing it between my hands. I did a little bit of back combing. And so now all these fluffy bits, I'm gonna use a crochet hook and pull them in to the center. So let's, let's get started, bitches. <laughs> I'm like going through with this and there's a little hook on the crochet needle you can kind of see you now and then I'm grabbing those hairs pulling them in and through and then I'm kind of just wrapping it and putting it back in just kind of going in and out trying to pull in as many of the little fluffy ones so you can kind of see already like down here it's really fluffy and it's starting to get a little less fluffy where I've been doing that so we're three dreadlocks in, and there's 24 to do. Getting there. I would say we're about two-ish hours in. And we have just about half of my head done. I don't know if we're gonna finish all of them tonight. It's getting kind of late, it's 10 o'clock right now. So I might go to sleep with half my head dreaded and finish it in the morning. It feels very normal. It doesn't feel any different. I was a little worried I would be itchy or it would feel weird. It feels like normal hair. I, I did braids once and then they kind of freaked me out because of how tight it felt, but this feels way looser, so. There's no discomfort going on here. So I will check back in a little bit later. So we have half of my head done. So you can see the length difference, how much, how much length uh, the dreadlocks take. Half and half right now. Side and side. Um, it's gonna take another couple hours, so we're just gonna call it a night tonight. Kirsten is tired. And it's late. What time is it? It is 11.30. So we're gonna finish watching our episode of Flavor of Love and we are going to go to sleep. We're gonna wake up tomorrow morning and then get these finished before after the work. So you should be all done by like two or three in the afternoon. Probably. Cool. <laughs> We're gonna relax. We're gonna relax and uh, we'll finish this video tomorrow. See you later. So we just got up. My <coughs> Marty review stuff, which I'm gonna make a video about soon. So I actually slept, uh, slept really good. The dreadlocks didn't feel uncomfortable at all, even though it's just one side of my head right now. And then I don't have to be at work till later. First night sleeping with dreads was good. They actually fit in my nightcap a lot better. They don't fall out because they don't have any loose hairs anymore. So everything's good. And uh, let's get these finished. Here on this side. So I go through with the hook. Try to grab those fluffs and pull them through, keep it, go through again, grab more, pull them through, and then you just try to kind of rock them into their place. So then up here again, through, try to grab and pull. Sometimes it gets stuck, <laughs> then I just kind of stab at it a little bit more.
So this is after I've like tangled it kind of, and then uh, with the crochet hook, this is what I make it look like. And you can kind of see in this one, like all the little bits, it almost looks like a braid. Cause it's all been pulled in. She's doing a very good job. Thank you and I love you. I love you. So we are on to our last dread. This is my last piece of free hair. It will not be locked up. It's been real. Let's do it. And what are we gonna do after this dread? Are we gonna go through and? Yeah, I'll probably go through just quickly and make sure that none of the ones that you slept with are like coming apart. And then we'll just go on with our day and I'll probably do that again tonight like after a full day of having them. Yeah, so after this last one, she's just gonna touch them up, fix the roots a little bit. And but yeah, I believe this is hour five or six, yeah. Four hours yesterday, I think we're about two hours in today. Yep, so total time, I believe it will take is six hours. So it is finished. I'm gonna go take a look at it right now for the first time. So here is the complete finished product. Six hours later, my hair is done and it feels fine. Um, I thought it would be a little itchier, a little uncomfortable, but no, it feels great. It feels like normal hair. It's a little stiff right now because they just got finished five minutes ago. But yeah, first reaction with them is I love them. They look amazing. Kirsten did an amazing job. Thank you, I love you so much. Look a little fluffy right now. They are new, so they're gonna take some time to mature and completely lock up. But I love them and these are for life. So I'm very excited. I have been growing my hair out for three years and I'm, I was finally able to, uh, to get these done. So. That is the video. I'm gonna be posting so many more dreadlock videos, dreadlock maintenance, dreadlock updates, how to wash your dreadlocks once I learn, and, and I'm gonna be sharing my experience and journey with everybody. So stay tuned, make sure to comment, subscribe, and like, and I'll be coming out with a lot more videos on fitness and all that stuff as well. So thanks for watching and see you all later.